Duranzis Live Music Fest wraps up tonight after bringing in dozens of bands and live performances to venues across the city this weekend. Not to mention a margarita and taco trail. Our Alexis Green was there. Earlier this week, Governor Greg Abbott named Port Aransas a music-friendly community, just in time for their Port A Live Music Fest. We're super excited to be the 28th city within the state of Texas to actually be de designated as a certified music-friendly community. Brett Starr with the Port Aransas Chamber of Commerce says they worked hard for this title because the live music scene is a big piece of who they are. <laughs> And what better way to showcase being a music-friendly community than Port A's Live Music Fest, which featured 34 live music events across 13 different venues in town, one of those being Castaways. A lot of people out this weekend. Um, it was out people enjoying the weather, fun times, and uh, enjoying the margaritas and the tacos. Stewart says not only is live music a good time, but it is a way for both locals and tourists to really get the full experience of what Port A has to offer. Awesome. Tourism in this event in particular is big to our community in that you know tourism kind of goes down a little bit in the fall and this is a beautiful time to visit Port Aransas but in order to help keep those restaurants open and those people employed um, we need a little bit of the revenue to keep coming in. Whitney Greer manager of Castaways says they were happy to be one of the stops on this weekend's taco and margarita trail. We're happy to see the people coming out supporting local businesses and doing fun activities out and about again with the community. Uh, we are very pleased to have the business for our servers not only for our staff, but also to be open for the people to enjoy again. Till next year, Lexus Green, 3 News.